Hello everyone, this is another pleasant day for all of us. And here's part 1 of our lesson 1. As a springboard, let's think about this. Which of the following is fundamental? If you can figure out which among the choices, you may post your answers on the discussion board or comment below. And now, our first lesson is all about Measurement of Physical Quantities Measurement is a significant skill that connects the laws and theories of physics to the reality of the world where each one of us exists. Understanding how measurements are made and the limitations imposed by the techniques are most valuable in doing a scientific task. Scientists can understand each other's work only by knowing exactly what measurements were made and how it was done. Quantities in the physical world can be expressed in terms of a number and a unit. There are only seven basic quantities which are sometimes referred to as standards. Each of the physical quantities has a corresponding basic unit. Fundamental quantities are quantities that can be measured directly using measuring devices. Derived quantities are those that can be obtained from the fundamental quantities by utilizing a given formula. Areas and volume and other derived quantities can be obtained by using a given formula. And here are examples. The volume of regular shaped objects can be obtained by this formula. How can you determine the volume of an irregular shaped object? The different units of measurements are used in our day-to-day -day activities, when you go to the gas station to fill up your gas tank, the unit of measurement used is liter. In the Sari Sari store or supermarket, the units used for mass are grams and kilograms. For volume, milliliters or liters are used. On road markers, the distances are measured in terms of kilometers. The most common measurement you will be using in the laboratory are those of length, mass, volume, and temperature. Metric is known as the universal unit of scientific measurement. 
The tables provided here are very much significant and essential in the conversion of units. Talking about conversion of units, it is necessary to convert the units of the quantity from one unit to another because different units in the same system can express the same quantity. For example, one may need to convert centimeter to meter or even to kilometer. Mathematically, to change units, we use conversion factors which are simply equivalent statements expressed in the forms of ratios. While sharing this learning video, I am hoping that you will find it useful and essential in answering activity number one from your workbook as your first performance task. Okay, once again, thank you for taking time to study and explore the first lesson which is all about measurement.